What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, so here we are in the Legendary Trio episode where we're going to be capturing Kyogre, Groudon, and Rayquaza. Now, I did capture Rayquaza first, but I'm keeping that that clip last right here in this episode. Why? Because, hey, you can actually capture Rayquaza before the Elite Four, before you go into the Pokemon League. But I chose not to do that because, hey, you know, you know, I kind of want to do this the right way, you know, battle the Elite Four without any kind of legendary Pokemon. Now, the reason why I did that was because, hey, that is a Pokemon that you can actually capture without any kind of process going into it. Now, in the Kyogre Groudon event, I did have to use two, uh, two Master Balls for each one because if you don't capture one, then you can't get the other. Uh, so, sorry guys, you know, that's the only time that's, that's ever going to happen right there. So, uh, you guys already know why I'm doing this. It's saving my time. I'm going to go into Pokemon Platinum, and I really want to really get this over with since I have uh, such a time crunch, guys. I really have a big time crunch. So, I hope you guys understand uh, where I'm coming from in all this. Now, if I was doing this, uh, like, if I was just recording the episode and then narrating it, oh, yeah, I would have captured these Pokemon just like that with regular Pokeballs. Now, I'm doing a live com, and it takes quite some time. Everything has to be perfect, and so far everything's been perfect. So, we're going to be doing this. Oh well, guys. Whatever. Let's do this. Let's go right ahead. So now, in order to go and capture Ky Kyogre and Groudon, you actually have to come right here into the Weather Institute. You talk to the guy who gave you the, ca the cast form, and he's actually going to explain to you that, hey, there's been uh, some weather anomalies around this area. And he's going to lead you to, you know, that specific place for where the uh, weather an anomaly is at. So talk to this guy. He's like, I track weather patterns over the Hoenn region. Presently, a drought has been recorded at Route 116. Could that mean somewhere near Route 116? Now, I got to check this out right here. Let's see. Let's see. Um, uh, where's the town map? Town map. Hold on. Where is the town? Oh, wait. Ha <laughs> ha. Pokenav. I'm thinking of another game right here. So, Route 116 would have to be... Uh, that's Route 118. Uh, Route 17. Oh, okay, so I think I know where this is at. Okay, so I know where this is at. Now, in Pokemon Emerald, there are specific areas in the, in the region that has been modified to this particular event, mainly for Groudon. Uh, some of the areas look like caves just big ass caves with no doors uh, that is for this exact reason and if I if I if I'm not mistaken I think I know where this is at so let's go right ahead and fly over to that area right here so all we got to do is straight right there actually I don't know why I did that hold on okay so I think I know where it's at yeah 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 I know where it's at Okay, so as you can see, we're flying through this whole area right here. Hi, how's it going, guys? I, I've missed you, kicked your ass, kicked your ass. And all you have to do is go straight up here into the, uh, into this, the Rust Turf uh, Tunnel. And, uh, I'm gonna use a Repel right here, because I don't want to get attacked right now, but I know where this place is at. Alright, so, let's see. Should be here somewhere. Route 116, and as you can see, you can automatically tell where, like, where this uh, whole event is happening. And um, oh Jesus, okay, so it's not here. Yeah, it's not here. It's at that other area where you know it's right there. So we got to get the heck out of here and uh, get the heck out of here. Um, you'll automatically know where the Pokemon is at with uh, the weather, just you know. It's where the weather is taking place. So, as you can see, we're at Route 116 right here, and there it is. Uh, there it is. So, there's that big ass cave. Now, remember, it's never always at the same place that I'm at. There are different areas in Pokemon uh, Emerald where you can actually find these two Pokemon. It's not exactly going to be right at Route 116, it could be at Route 115, 118, what have you. If you don't get it right, guys, it usually moves on like a roaming Pokemon. So as you can see, we're in the Terra Cave right here. And, uh, well, let's go in here. And you see smoke. Lots and lots of smoke. And uh, just to be safe, because Sparky, you're way underleveled. Let's go with Swamp Lord. That dude. That dude. As you can see, it looks exactly like what it looked like back at uh, Lava Ridge or... Uh, 
the cave that we were at. And there he is. Look at that. Look at this guy. Oh, he's walking. He's strutting. So we meet at last. Holy crap. That's some scary shit right there, guys. The drums and everything. Da -da 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 -da. And he's just powerful as hell. Look at that. Level 70 Groudon. And if you guys remember when I was Draven XE711, I did two Pokemon Emerald walkthroughs. Uh, first Pokemon Emerald walkthrough was in 2011. That was like my second walkthrough ever. And when I tried to capture this Groudon, it literally took me about 20 minutes or so, if not an hour, to try and capture this guy. It took me a buttload of Pokeballs to get him. Uh, eventually, it got to the point where he used up all his moves and he just, you know, he fainted. So, that is the main reason to why I, like, do, me doing a live comm right now, I can't, I can't just, like, capture him with a regular Pokeball. So, I'm just gonna battle him just a little bit. I'm just gonna use an Ice Beam because, look at that, Fire Blast. It's both a Ground type and Fire type, I believe. Or it's just a Ground type, but it knows Fire type moves and, uh, it is super effective. The sunlight is strong. Now, if this wasn't, uh... Yeah, if this wasn't a uh, sunlight or anything, yeah, I would have defeated this Pokemon real quick. So, that is exactly what I'm going to do. I am going to capture this guy with this Master Ball, and, uh, bam. Oh, yeah. He's being captured. Alrighty. So, there you go, guys. We got ourselves our Groudon. He's a good Pokemon, right? He is a good Pokemon. And, uh, let's go into the Pokedex right here. Groudon, the Continent Pokemon. Groudon has appeared in mythology as the creator of the land. It sleeps in magma underground and it is said to make volcanoes erupt on awakening. Okay, alrighty. No, I will not give him a nickname. So now we're going to be going straight for Kyogre. So we're going to go back to the Weather Institute. So I'll see you guys in just a bit for that one. Alrighty, so here we are back again at the Weather Institute. And after capturing the Groudon now... We're going to go back in here again, and uh, off screen I had to get an extra Master Ball for this Kyogre issue right here. Now, again, all three of these legendary Pokemon are at level 70, and these guys are just tough. Very, very tough. I think, yeah, all three of them have rest and all that stuff, and you do not want to waste your time with this if you're doing, like, any kind of walkthrough right here. Now, talk to this guy, and he's going to be like, I tracked the weather patterns over the Hoenn region. Presently, heavy rainfall has been recorded over Route 127. Could that mean somewhere near Route 127? Now we gotta check it out and see where this is all about. So let's see, let's see. Route 127 would have to be right here in the ocean. And, uh, oh dang. Okay, so it's right outside of Moss Deep City. And the tell for that one would have to be, uh, the tell for that one would have to be a spot. You know, the dark spots that you would actually find for uh, when, you, when you dive. If you find something, if you find a spot where you didn't see it before, then that's normally where, um, that's normally where uh, Kyogre's gonna be at, but, yeah, it's, uh, it's better said than done. So let's go right again, let's go right over to Moss Deep City and take care of that now. We all know, we all know the tell that, um, what's his face, uh, Kyogre's there, he throws in heavy rainfall, and, uh, right now it's not raining, so we're gonna go right here. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna try and find this guy right here. So, here we are, Route 127, and, uh, oh, dang. Okay, so, yeah, we're gonna have a little bit of a tough time trying to find this guy. So, we have to go to, okay, so, it's more than likely that Kyogre is at an area where there's a cave somewhere. So, it has to be here somewhere. And, yes, I completely forgot about this. Okay, so I need to use a dig, or no, not a dig, but I need to use a repel. Uh, okay, and it is raining hard. Okay, Kyogre is usually a tough Pokemon to find. Okay, so let's see, let's see, where, okay, so repel right there. And uh, might be right behind this area right here. So let's go ahead and see right here and nope not right there but it's probably gonna be here somewhere it's usually here somewhere okay so I think it's right here could be this area and yes we are here this is exactly where it's at now again this is these Pokemon are kind of like roaming Pokemon in Pokemon Emerald 
they vary from place to place. Kyogre is usually the tough one because there's a lot of spots right here where you can actually find. So here we are in the Marine Cave. And, uh, well, we're just going to be going here. And uh, it is smoky. It is grainy. It is whatever. And uh, there's a big old piece of water right there. And, uh, yeah, big old Lummox is waiting for us right now. So what's up, Kyogre? How you doing? It's been a while. There he is. Alrighty, so... Look at that. It looks all angry and shit. Oh, God. The drumming. Da, 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 da. That's right. I love this theme song. It's pretty epic. Now, this Kyogre right here, in Pokemon Emerald, it does have Sheer Cold. Be aware of that. Sheer Cold is kind of like Fissure or Horn Drill. It's a one-hit KO kind of move. You do not want to mess with that. It also has Rest, just like the other two, two legendary Pokemon, and it is very, very tough to defeat because it keeps on using rest every single time. Um, so let's go ahead and just like check it out. Let's check out what, what it has. And wow! There it is. Sheer cold. One hit KO. So I'm not gonna mess with this guy. I am not messing with this guy right now. Okay, so Swamp Lord has been fainted. Uh, let's go with Let's go with Sparky right here. Don't worry, Sparky. I got your back. I got you. I got ya. Oh, man. So, as you can see, uh, one hit KO, just like that. I am throwing a Master Ball at this guy. So, here we go. Master Ball for the win. Oh, my God. Okay. There we go. How about that? How about that? So let's read the, the, the data right here. So here we go. Kyogre, the sea base in Pokemon. Kyogre has appeared in mythology as the creator of the sea. After long years of feuding with Groudon, it took to sleep at the bottom of the sea. Alrighty. Okay, so now we're going to go straight to the last Pokemon. And remember, I actually did record this, uh, this, ep uh, this uh, part first. So we're gonna, I guess we're gonna rewind or something. I don't even know. We're, yeah, we're gonna rewind. So I'll see you guys in just a second. Alrighty, guys. So here we are in Pacific Town. And uh, like I mentioned uh, early on in this episode right here, you can capture Rayquaza way before the two other legendary Pokemon, uh, Kyogre and Groudon. You can actually capture them before the uh, Pokemon League. But again, I chose not to because, you know, I kind of want to make this whole episode uh, all about these three legendary Pokemon. Now, the place you can actually find them is very easy because we've been there before uh, in order to stop this whole issue with, uh, with uh, you know, these three Pokemon right here. So what we're going to do now is we are actually going to use a uh, Max Repel right here and uh, we're just going to keep on moving forward. Now, remember, remember... You gotta have a uh, mock bike for this whole issue right here because uh, it won't be easy pickings once you go up to the Sky Pillar. When we first went up to Sky Pillar, everything was like it was actually easy to find uh, Rayquaza. But now there have been cracks in there, and uh, yeah, Rayquaza's made it tougher for us to actually get to uh, get to him. So make sure to have a lot of repels if you don't want to battle any of these Pokemon because they will grow faster. Have your mock bike. As you can see, there's the cracks. So, look at that. And here we go. Oh, crud. So, as you can see, you have to be very, very quick with your uh, your reflexes right here. It's going to take me a while to actually get through this whole area right now. So, there's a mock bike. And... Oh, oh, oh. Nearly, I nearly messed that up. There we go. Now, let's see. Okay, so we don't need our mock bike right here. This actually gives us a chance to actually go through this whole area. And, uh... Alrighty. Let's just move on. Get this all over with. Now, we actually have to go down the middle right here to get to one of those two middle cracks. Now, it's gonna be a little tough right here because this is probably like... Oh, God. Nearly messed that up. Oh, my God. As you can see, you need to be very, very quick with your reflexes. It has to be all in one fell swoop. And, uh, let's see... Actually, that's the wrong way. I'm going to have to go right here. Oh, God. I hate this. I wonder what the... I wonder how Kyogre and Groudon's going to be like. Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay, so let's do that again. It's going to take me a while, guys. It's going to take me a while. Hold on. I'm a little rusty right now. Oh, yes, I got it. Look at that. One fell swoop. That's how you do it. Bam. 
Now, when I first played this game, or actually was playing it, when I first discovered this place back in Pokemon Sapphire, it took me a it took me almost a whole day just to get through this whole area. But it doesn't really help that when you're playing the original Game Boy Advance uh, system, so it makes it harder. So here we are, guys. It's going straight to Sky Pillar, and uh, yeah, we're at the tail end of this whole thing right here. Oh my God, so easy, so nice and nice and breezy. And here we are at the very top of Sky Pillar, and uh, there is a certain Pokemon waiting for us right there. Or Kyogre, or not Kyogre, what the fuck? Rayquaza, that's right, and he's been waiting for us for quite, quite some time. So, here it is, guys Rayquaza. And he's all mad and everything. Damn. Oh my god, this is so epic. This is so freaking epic. Look at that. Oh, freaking Rayquaza. I, 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 let's just take some time. Let's just take some time to appreciate the music. Let's just take some time. Here we go. I mean, it's one of the greatest musics of all time when it comes to, like, battling your legendary Pokemon right here. Now, uh, I would assume just like, uh, just like any other Pokemon, this Pokemon would be difficult to actually capture. Uh, Rayquaza right here does have uh, Rest, and I believe both Groudon and Kyogre do have that too. So it makes it harder for this Pokemon to actually like paralyze, put to sleep, or anything like that. So you guys have to make it, you guys have to make it waste its rest attack. Now, if you guys remember in Pokemon, uh, my very first Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough when I was Draven XC711, this was like what nine years ago? Nine years ago, guys. I tried capturing all three legendary Pokemon right here, and they were they were they were just the hardest. They really were. Groudon in particular, it took me nearly like an hour to capture that Pokemon in one video just because yeah it's a dick Pokemon so good luck to every single one of you guys me I'm gonna take the easy way out judge me if you want I don't care let's go with that master ball let's do it and uh, yeah I'm actually recording this one first so in no particular order am I doing this guys the other two are coming up first, so <laughs> yeah, I kind of forgot all about that. Kind of wanted to go in uh, other order right there. So there it is. We got ourselves Rayquaza right here, and uh, look at that, Rayquaza, the Sky High Pokemon, a Pokemon that flies endl endlessly in the ozone layer. It is said that it would descend to the ground if Kyogre and Groudon were to fight, which you know it actually did happen. And, uh, well, I'm not giving you a nickname, but you are a cool Pokemon I actually have right there. That's good. That's cool. Okay, so... Alrighty. Um, I'm assuming that I've already captured the other two Pokemon. So I'm just going to put this right here right now since this is the last part of this episode. Uh, thank you guys for watching. In the next episode, I believe it will be the final episode. I'm thinking about it right now. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Yes, it will be the final episode. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.